Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Tony Kushner and Janine Tesori's musical Caroline or Change is back on Broadway in Roundabout Theatre Company's glorious production. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company led by the show's Olivier Award winning star Sharon D. Clark. And our opening night coverage is sponsored by 1-800-Flowers.com. Whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a special event like an opening night, celebrate your friends and family with a bouquet or arrangement from 1-800-Flowers.com. Enjoy. your Broadway debuts and it's opening night. How exciting is this? Uh, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I am very excited and I'm even more excited to be here with the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, and it's great. I'm just so excited. I can't even control myself. I'm just so happy to be here and grateful for this amazing opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are so awesome. They're my buddies and uh, everyone in the ca cast is so talented and I think we all deserve, everyone deserves a round of applause. After two years in the pandemic, being able to come back with everyone and having this equivalent to a family is outstanding and extraordinary how nice they have been to me. You could literally feel the just spirit and it just felt right. There were no nerves, there was no fear because it was like the right place to be, the right thing to do. So it just felt incredible and literally just that feeling of gratitude it's like overwhelming really this piece is so great and and, and uh, tony and janine it's a work of art so i feel i just am um, just over the moon which we have in our show i was just so happy and proud of all the broadway debuts especially sharon d clark who leads with such grace and just i started crying when she started crying because it's such a triumph to see her have this role and craft it and lead this company with just amazing and intelligence and awesomeness. We were about to do our final dress rehearsal and we at about four o'clock I think we were told to go home. It almost feels like it didn't happen in a way, you know, um, and yet the feelings of remembering how we felt that day when we shut down are so real. Um, it's great to kind of pick up where we left off and start fresh and bring everything that we've all learned from the last year and a half to the production now. When we started the show in Chichester, we opened the week of the Charlottesville riots. So that kind of exploded the world in Britain as to what it all meant with the Confederate statues. Now we've had this time off, we've had the Black Lives Matter movement, we've had change sweeping the country again, and Tony has written a piece about change sweeping the country. You know, the, the burgeoning civil rights movement, the assassination of JFK and what that does to the country change. And we are in the midst of change at the moment and having come through this summer with the Black Lives Matter movement and saying that that cannot just be a movement. That has to continue, the momentum has to continue. We're dealing with change and less talk, more action. That's where we are now. When you each took your bow tonight, do you remember what you were thinking? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Tears. <laughs> crying. Just tears and crying. The Broadway debuts are making their debut in this special show and that's what I was feeling. Yeah. We've been doing previews for a minute and to finally open, you know, you, you think, oh, it's another performance, but it really isn't. Like, there's this extra energy, there's this weight that's being lifted off his shoulders. Um, the fact that we had to wait 18 months to do this. The singing is, as they say, off the chain. Nobody sings better than this cast. I am so proud of this show and how relevant could this show possibly be 20 years ago as it is even more relevant today. As you say yes to shows that forever leave you different. Um, and this is one of those shows. This is one of those shows that you come away feeling like you can't do anything but pour yourself into this 100%. And so it, it's something that's soul fulfilling. It's something that's nightly enriching. It's something that's deeply rooted in people having conversations. And you as an actor are challenged to kind of find more about yourself to make sure this story hits its mark. It's exquisite. Yeah. Last year, it was like, oh my God, we're going to put on this amazing show. This year, it's so many more things. It's not only, oh my God, we're going to put on this amazing show. It's, oh my God, we're going to put on this amazing show 20 months 
months after we were supposed to, oh my god, we're gonna put on this amazing show where it's more relevant than ever, which is so disappointing that the times haven't changed since when it was written, since when it was written about 1963, but it's also, it makes us feel proud to be a part of something so relevant and so important today.